Hey guys, it's Jake. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to go over my most recent clothing collection and how I designed it using my Sieg's Vector mock-up pack, which is the best and easiest way to jump into designing clothes, in my biased opinion. So here we are in my master file in Adobe Illustrator. This is the actual tech pack organized format that I sent into the manufacturer, and I'm gonna walk you through uh, everything. So I'm using the templates in my Sieg's Vector mock-up pack, there's 23 items here. We used a hoodie, some sweatpants down here, t-shirt, and a puffer jacket. There's four items. The three elements in this tech pack are the mock-ups themselves, so I get an idea of what the garment will look like once it's made. These simplified outlines over here that have these guidelines, I had inches and measurements scattered everywhere, but I deleted those because those are mine. And then at the bottom we have the, uh, the visual stuff, the printed graphics, embroidery, custom pockets. Uh, this was a applique shape for the shirt. And I made all this using my templates. So this is basically just like a hoodie. And I added these lines down here, the cuff, the waistband, the collar. These are supposed to be like to simulate distression lines that the real garment is gonna have. Added the custom pocket on, just did some clipping masks for the graphics. So, you know, if you have a graphic on like the edge of a pant or a sleeve or something, you have the graphic and you just draw a shape. Here, let me change the color so you can see it. You just make a shape of the part you want to keep, select them both, and you make a clipping mask. For this hoodie, it's just this image traced graphic on the front that's embroidered. There's 70,000 stitches on this one. We have this custom pocket with the four studs in the corners. I just took a normal pocket, disconnected it from the uh, waistband, and then just rounded out the edges. Shirt has a double collar. All I did was I just got my pen tool and I just drew some lines. And there, now it has a, now it has a triple collar. See that? Easy, you have an idea, you do it. Then I have this applique cross with this hand stitching, it's just lines. These are just pen tool lines. And I took some time and put them around this cross. And that's it, it looks great. This is just the, it's a graphic. So let's get the puffer jacket. Okay. I made these around the same time. Uh, that's why they look exactly the same. But uh, you know, I added a shape here to like cover a zipper that would be behind this shape. I made some pockets, you know, I make a custom pocket. You just make a square, that's a circle. A square, hold command, press V to do select tool, hold command, round out the corners, deselect command shift A, P is pen tool, do you know one of these things, make a circle, and you got a you got a pocket. Look at that. And then you can just you can just put it places. See? It's easy. Design done, just like that. Now we have the helmet. I didn't have any references in person that I could look at and use for this project, so I went to Google and looked up like North Face or Stone Island outdoorsy, climatey hiking jackets that had hoods on them. I like the way those hoods look, just that specific design language. It looks very nice to me. And I wanted to replicate that with this helmet. And there are tons of details. And there are tons of instructions for the manufacturer. It's not a very common shape and sewing pattern that people usually do. So I made it to be as clear as, uh, as possible. It took two samples to get the helmet right and three samples to get the jacket right. The graphic section includes the Pantones and general instructions for each graphic. The height, width, centering it, how it's going to be printed, just information, man. Just give the most amount of information you can. 
the custom pockets, the embroidery, the neck tag that's a picture frame, like a old timey vaporwave style silicone Hydra logo with silicone text on back of puffer jacket. Applique, DTG, screen print, clamshell pocket, cross pocket, removable helmet. I added little buttons there and on the back too. You're probably going to have to repeat yourself to some manufacturers if it's like a really complex or thorough idea, but just be patient. They'll be patient too, but make it thorough. Hand stitched. And that's how I made my new clothing collection using my vector mock-up pack. All I did was start with the base mock-up, add a few things, which is also a good way to get ideas down fast with little effort. I have a link in the description if you're interested. If not, no worries, make your own mock-ups, but I made them right here just for you. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and check out my brands. They're pretty cool. See ya.